Pleasure to have you with us here on Weekend Prime. Now, brace yourself for an impending nationwide Matatu strike. This follows a directive from officials of the Federation of Public Transport Sector, an umbrella body for, among others, Matatu owners and Matatu welfare associations, who now say they do not agree with some of the regulations announced by the Ministry of Transport and that of Interior. The strike threat comes just a day before an intensive government crackdown on Matatus this Monday. But as Timothy Uchenna reports, it appears tougher times may be coming if you are a commuter in Kenya. Monday's deadline for Matatu operators to comply with CAP 403 of the Traffic Act. <laughs> famously known as the Michuki Rules is slowly approaching and the murky waters surrounding that directive are about to get even more murkier. <laughs> This after the Federation of Public Transport Sector, a conglomeration of Matatu Owners Association, Matatu Welfare Association, Association of Matatu Owners, Mount Kenya Matatu Owners Association, and the Association of Bus Operators Kenya have threatened to down their tools come Monday. We members of the Federation of Public Transport Sector would like to advise our members to withdraw, withdraw public transport service provision on Monday, November 12, 2018, for purposes of aligning our operation to the new guidelines. That announcement comes less than 48 hours to the start of a government-initiated crackdown on non-compliant public service vehicles who are supposed to have working speed governors, a clear yellow line, uniformed drivers and conductors, working seat belts, as well as the required documentary traffic clearances. But the Federation says the directive from the state is vague on a few issues they say first need to be clearly outlined. Charging vehicle owners and SACO companies officials for traffic violations of driver or conductor, painting PSV vehicles white, Introduction of continuous yellow line instead of a broken one on Matatus. Replacement of speed governors with the new ones, even for those that are serviceable. The looming strike is likely to affect thousands of commuters who depend on the public service sector. So it to affect Sarah, Mimi, Kama, Ntunikona, Ntunafanya exam, Sujua and Adio Wiki. Rules ki kiviangu zinafakua. Ju hizo zitapunguza at least ajali. Ajali zitakuwa kidogo. Even as government remains adamant that the crackdown will go on as scheduled, some Matatu operators are promising to defy the strike notice issued to them by their bosses. Mi ndaeka barabara rani kwa sababu gari ya Matatu hii enye nafanya nazo, hizo tayari ziko na kila kitu. But the Federation is threatening to cripple the sector until their concerns are met, even as hundreds of commuters countrywide brace themselves for the Matatu strike come Monday. With less than 48 hours to the reintroduction of the reinforcement of the now famous Michuki rules, and it appears all stakeholders in this growing quagmire are apparently walking on thin ice with Matatu welfare promising to down their tools come Monday and the government insisting that the crackdown is on. So where does this leave all the many commuters who most likely may be stranded when the crackdown begins on Monday? Timothy Otieno, KTN News.